Hi everyone, welcome to the Brew Bear Beer Festival right here on Thirsty Thirsty, sponsored by that gentleman, ooh, ooh, there he is, right there, David from Cheshire Home Brew. Um, seven part series based on the magnificent seven beer mail that he very, very kindly sent me up. Um, this is episode number three. Um, this is the last of the non-beer of the uh, of the beer mail, and this is a 9.2% methaglin. Okay, please pronounce the. Uh, please excuse the pronunciation. I have a co-reviewer for this uh, particular episode. Who is? Mrs. Brubeck. That's uh That's what. Uh, that's what it looks like in the bottle. Got it out the fridge about five minutes ago. So let's get it popped and poured and see what she is like. Cool. Cracking hiss on that. Cool. Oh, look at that for cannon smoke. That's still going away. That is. Can you hear that? Carbonated. Wasn't expecting that. So methaglin is a um, mead, type of mead. Well, a, a generally a spiced mead. Um, cool. Look at that. That pours a lovely, you know, like white wine colour. Look at that. There you go, Mrs. Brewer. Thank you. So glad Mrs. Brewer's here because she's a bit of an expert on this type of drink. There we go. Got that in a glass. Lovely, lovely carbonation. Look at that beautiful colour. Um, that looks fabulous, doesn't it? Right, let's go in for the old uh, aroma. See what we got. Quite fruity. Get a bit of honey on the back end as well. A bit spicy. Almost like fresh, not fresh parsley, maybe coriander. Definitely a whiff of cardamom in there. I was only cooking with that the other night, so I'm definitely, definitely getting a bit of that. But yeah, look at that. Right, everyone, very good health. Cheers. Very crisp, quite dry on the back end as well. Per I say, carbonation, Dave. Seriously, absolutely spot on. What do you think, Mrs. Brewer? It reminds me of something, but I can't think what it is. What? Sparkling wine, Carver. <laughs> Give me strength. Um, I'm, I remember when I did some beer reviews last time with Mrs. Brewbear, it caused a bit of a, a spark off that quite a few people um, wrote their missuses in to do some beer reviews. So I hope this does the uh, does a similar sort of thing. Um, it is fruity. It's very, very zingy. Then spices balance in with the fruit back notes very, very nicely. Um, probably, if that was a wine... Type you'd probably think it was a sort of a, a medium dry on 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 your mouth feel, and to be honest as well, you could probably blag that off as like you know some kind of like sparkling English champagne if you had some some people around. That it's very very nice. The carbonation again. I've never had a um, a you know mead based drink that's been carbonated, and that works very very nicely. Um, I think maybe on the next mead I do, I think I might might do um, carbonation on it. Um, but as a summing up, clean, zingy, fruity, fresh, nice bit of spice on the back end. What do you reckon, Mrs. Brewbear? I agree. It, it's um, yes, you could use this in any situation that you would have a white wine. Go down well with like Sparkling fish, white, chicken, yeah. wouldn't it? On the um, and I think. One of the biggest compliments I could probably pay, pay David from um, for this is if you paid, you know, eight, nine, ten, eleven quid for, for a bottle of that in your local supermarket, 
you would be very very happy that's that's fantastic quality that is that's isn't it very it very is, good it is beautiful well as you know we do the old spaghetti western scoring method in this particular um series is it good bad or ugly mrs brewer what is it it's good it's good and it's a good for me as well top top brewing david um very very enjoyable i say 9.2 percent methaglin um type of mead very, very enjoyable. Oh, Mrs. Brewbed's got something else, I don't know, of Wisdom. For the ladies out there, I would say it would be, and I think he was in the film, a Robert Vaughan. And on that note, <laughs> what the is she on about? I don't know. <laughs> Been seeing you.